lifeboat to go into the Cape Coral Bridge. Then we're going to head into Redfish Point. That's the inlet for the Cape Coral Yacht Club. And we're going to go right past the boathouse, tiki bar, and restaurant that's temporarily closed. six months after Hurricane Eden laid a path of destruction through this area. Nice to see that place Still come together though. Eden. Yeah, we'll be good all the way in yeah, this big yacht. It is, for sure. It's looking really good. That one looks different though. Because didn't it have a whole beachfront with like chairs on it and stuff? Before too? Oh yeah, it had a great big chair at it, right? Well, that, that chair was on awesome. Yeah, you can turn around here. <laughs> oh, there's a boat still underwater over there. Police boats. Yeah. At least we're safe. There's not. They're all on yeah, dock. Yeah, good thing. I'm glad. I'm. I'm glad that the police are in full force today. That's why we haven't seen any out in the water. No restaurant docking. Those are the whalers, eh? Yeah. Unsinkable. Yeah. I did that. Look at those people gave up on their seat lift and they just put one of those whalers in my seat. They're like, oh, I don't want to pay a fix my lift. <laughs> in behind Fort Myers though. Just there's a little oh you mean yeah. What do you think that is sand? Like is that a sandbar? That's the beach. It's a beach. Oh that was a beach there, wasn't it? Yeah. 
the first response you get on this is how sad this this looks. Actually, I'm kind of optimistic. I'm really impressed with how this community's come together and rebuilt this area. Yeah, there's a lot of construction still going on, but I'm seeing a lot of really awesome yeah. progress. This boathouse tiki bar is just about to reopen. I've even seen them looking for staff to reopen this establishment on social media.